I'm going to use this camera here because uh, I felt that this was going to be removed. So I'm going to focus my attention more on here. Okay. All right. Have you noticed that all the terrorists, the uh, well, have you noticed that all the Muslims uh, flooding into Europe right now, the the Syrian refugees are uh, all uh, Muslim, all uh, um, Muslim age, all terrorist aged Muslim men with kids. Where where are the women's? And where are the de women's? It's just these these terrorist Muslim aged uh, uh, men, you know. I don't know about you, but this smacks of invasion of jihadis big time. Being the case, none of them should be let into any country, I feel, until they watch about a year's worth of YouTube videos by Christian Prince. He's the author of The Deception of Allah and Pal Talk and Investigate Islam and uh, Allah Aleg, stuff like that. I feel they should also watch the YouTube videos of Jesus or Muhammad. Uh, featuring Sam Shamoon and David Wood. Also, the videos of Ahmed's Quran 5 and Craig Wynn's uh, video series called uh, the Prophet of, called Prophet of Doom, which is excellent, learning about the Hadith. Uh, also, I think they should watch the videos of the Zakaria Botris. They should watch these videos for a whole year. After you're watching these videos in their detention camp, they should... Um, watching these videos for a whole year, I feel these Muslim invaders need to then take a quiz where if they miss just one, just one, they will then have to stay another whole year in a, det in a, a detention camp and they will get two tries at trying to pass this test. If they don't, then they're taken back to their place of origin. Okay, and here is a possible uh, quiz question. Number one, According to Muhammad and Sahih, that's authentic hadith, an embryo becomes a blood clot in spite of how Muslims want it to be, want to believe it, which is a clean leaf like substance. How many days, according to Muhammad and Sahih, that's authentic, authentic hadith. Uh, how many days is an embryo a clot of congealed blood before it becomes a morsel of flesh? Is it A, 30 days, B, 40 days, C, 9 months, or D, 10 days? The correct answer is B, 40 days. Another question would be, according to the Quran, stars are located in A, space, B, the butt of the flying donkey-like creature Muhammad said he flew on in a journey by night, that would be the Albarak, uh, C, on the back of a giant fish called Nun, that would destroy the earth with its agitation if all it didn't cast down mountains as pegs, uh, stabilizers to keep down the earthquakes. Uh, D, in the earth's atmosphere to attack Satan if he or his jinns try to spy on Allah. Out of that multiple choice question, which is it? The correct answer is D, the last one. There, the stars are located in the earth's atmosphere, the lowest heaven. Uh, to attack uh, Satan and the jinns of Christ by Anola. Another question could be, what does the Quran say is not only Allah's words and Allah's books that a Muslim is to believe in and make no distinction between that and the Quran or be far astray and dragged from the hellfire. Uh, yeah, what are Allah's books that are, are you the book that the Quran says it confirms? Is it A, the Mahabharata? B, the Bible, C, the Talmud, or D, the Song of God, also known as the Bhagavad Gita? The correct answer is B, even the Bible is believed by all Muslims to be corrupted. Another question could be, according to Quran 1094, that's Surah 1094, chapter 1094, if you, if you, a Muslim, are in doubt about the Quran, you are to go to A, fellow Muslims, and study the Quran together, B, Muslim scholars who not only know the Quran, but the Hadith as well. C, Jews and Christians for their reading, not reciting, but their reading the before scriptures, Bible. Or D, no one but yourself for no one can be trusted due to, due to Takiyah, that is, line for Allah. The correct answer 
as absurd it is, is C, Jews and Christians, even though the Quran accuses Jews and Christians of passing over much of their Bible and hiding things in their Bible. They're supposed to be hiding the fact that Muhammad's in the Bible, supposedly. Or, yeah, or, or, or um, and uh, they also, the Quran also accuses Jews and Christians of throwing the Bible over their backs. I kid you not. But according to the Quran, 1094, you go to those who've been reading the before the before scriptures Bible if you're in doubt about the Quran. So the correct answer is C, Jews and Christians. Another uh, question could be as goes as follows: According to Muhammad in Al Tabari Hadith, a solar eclipse occurs by a the sun falling out of its chariot into the sea of water held over heads by the power of Allah, so that not even a drop falls. B, the sun catching up with the moon. C, the moon blocking out the rays of the sun. Or D, the sun disappearing into the butt of the flying al uh, uh Muhammad said he flew from Mecca to Jerusalem in a journey by night. The correct answer is A. The, they, the sun and moon travel in a chariot, and a partial eclipse occurs when the sun falls partially into the water held overhead by the power of all, and a, and a solar eclipse occurs when all of the sun falls out of its chariot. Another could be this. According to Quran 36, 40 through 42, what is implied that the sun and moon ride, ride in? Is it A, a chariot? B, the butt of the El Barak Muhammad said he flew on? C, a boat similar to that of Noah, that is the ark, or D, an orbit around the earth. The correct answer is C, a boat similar to, similar to that of Noah. That's what the sun and moon travel in, according to Quran, that is inferred by Quran 36, 40 through 42. Of course, it's contradicted by El Tabari, which Muhammad says is a chariot that the sun and moon travel in. Okay, another question could be, how many washings out of your, no out of your nose does Muhammad say one must do in the morning to get Satan out for sleeping in the upper interior of your nose during the night? Is it A, one washing, two, two washings, three, three washings, or four, no washings, for why would it take any washings to get Satan out? Is Satan omnipresent like God? You know, answer is the answer is C. Three washings to get Satan out of your nose, even though Satan doesn't interfere with your breathing nor sense of smell. Even though Muhammad says, and also Sahih Hadith, Hadith that Satan farts every time Satan hears the call to prayer, which is 24 hours, which is every hour on the hour for 20 all around the clock. So it should be farting every hour since the call to prayer is heard every hour around the earth okay somewhere in the earth okay somewhere around the earth yeah okay another question could be according to muhammad how many ajwa dates are you are you to eat in the morning to protect you all day from both magic and poison is it a three three dates b seven dates c ten dates or d zero dates because muhammad still became poisoned when he was served tainted or poisoned goat meat by a jewish woman whose family muhammad slaughtered the answer the correct answer is b seven dates another question would be according to muhammad the greatest jihad is a killing and being killed in the cause of allah B, kissing the black stone that is supposed to come to life someday with eyes and a tongue, letting Allah know who touched it in sincerity and or truth. C, drinking camel urine and sewage water to prove Muhammad was right about water not being defiled to the point where uh, even well water with dead dogs in it is okay to use for evolution. And pond water with a dead doggy was able, a dead donkey in it was able to use for drinking. Part to say he... Uh, uh, yeah, Sunni, uh, Sunni Abu Dawud Hadith. Or D, saying a truth in the presence of a tyrant. What is the greatest jihad? The correct answer is D, but the greatest jihad, according to Muhammad. So if you're, the greatest jihad is if you're in front of a tyrant, you say sugar is sweet, because that's the truth. And that's the greatest jihad, saying, that, saying a truth in the presence of a, of a tyrant. Another question could be, according to Muhammad and according to Muhammad and al Tabari Hadith, the earth is spread out on the back of a giant, A, sheep, 
B, fish called none that would destroy the earth if all the first cast down mountains as pegs and stabilizers. C, nothing, for the earth is actually round and orbiting the sun. D, the back of a giant turtle. Yeah, what is the earth supposed to be spread out on? The correct answer is B, the giant fish called none. Another question would be, according to Muhammad in Sahih, authentic hadith, meat decays due to A, a lack of refrigeration, B, a lack of being dried and preserved, C, Christians living in this world, or D, the Bani Israel, that is, the Jews. Answer? The correct answer for why meat decays is D, the Jews, according to Muhammad. Okay, anyway, this is the type of quiz I feel a Muslim refugee must take after a year of seeing those videos, those YouTube videos, by Christian Prince and those others I mentioned in this video. If he or she misses just one, they stay at, they stay at least another year before taking the test again. If they fail after in two, year, two tries in two years, then they go back to their place of origin and are monitored and never able to come back again. So that puts pressure on them to get every single thing right there. But 